Uh, what the heck? Okay, so I was just scrolling through my Twitter timeline, and I saw this piece of news right here, that the Blue Jackets have signed defenseman Gavin Bayreuther to a two-year contract, a guy who played on the Blue Jackets and the Monsters last season, that's the Blue Jackets AHL affiliate, they signed him to a contract, okay, that's cool, he's a guy, a depth piece, playing in the... Cleveland system, and he was kind of in the NHL a little bit too. At face value, this doesn't seem like a big deal at all, but like, when I saw this pop up in my timeline, I actually had to do a double take. I scrolled by it, then I quickly went back up. I was like, wait, what? What in the world? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gavin Bayreuther is significant, not because he is a defenseman who was undrafted, 27 years old, a former Dallas, Texas guy, an eventual Columbus guy who ended up sticking it out with Columbus. He's significant because this was the guy that Seattle took from the Blue Jackets in the expansion draft. Are you kidding me? Seattle literally just took this guy for nothing. What in the world? You could have had Max Domi. You could have had Max Domi. You could have had anybody else that the Blue Jackets went out there and exposed in the Seattle Kraken expansion. I know Ron Francis went out there and said, oh, we really value cap space, which is probably why they ended up not taking Max Domi and the however many million dollars contract he has. I think it's like five or something. They took Gavin Bayreuther instead. But are you kidding me? They take a guy that they don't even try to get any value out of? You let him go to free agency and he goes back to the team that he came from? What in the world? This has to be, like, I we remember in Vegas, right? The Vegas expansion draft saw a whole bunch of guys get taken that didn't even play games for Vegas. But you know what happened with a lot of those Vegas guys? A lot of those Vegas picks were traded for assets. They were traded for picks. They were sent away to free up cap space and all that stuff for other teams and whatnot. Seattle didn't do that. Seattle literally just drafted a guy... And then they just let him walk. Didn't try to trade him for anything, didn't get any assets out of him. This was a free opportunity to get capital. And you blew it, Ron Francis. You could have gotten Max Domi, tried to trade him with like 50% salary retained. He's only got one year left anyway. Trade Max Domi 50% salary retained to Montreal or something and get a second round pick back. Or a prospect. Trade anybody with salary retained with a short contract remaining for assets. That's what you do when you have a chance to take capital from 30 NHL teams. You go out there and you say, okay, we're going to build not just our roster on here, but we're going to take players that we can ultimately flip for other assets to build up our capital and build up the volume of things that we have. You're not going to do that by drafting players that are going to free agency and letting them walk. Oh my goodness, I thought the Ron Francis Seattle Kraken expansion draft was bad already. It was bad because of the program, the host, they weren't pronouncing the names right. Like, the Carolina Panthers made an appearance as well. They had a whole bunch of bad stuff going on with the broadcast. The draft picks were even weirder. Carson Torinsky over Voracek, Gavin Bayreuther over Max Domi. He had all these options to get stars, but man, the... Seattle Kraken, they were like, yeah, we value cap space. We really value cap space. What are you doing with that cap space? You signed Jaden Schwartz, that's it? You signed Philip Grubauer out there, is that it? There was an opportunity here to go out there and make even more benefits to your organization in terms of the volume of assets and capital that you have. It's all about capital, especially in the flat cap world. Not just capital as in the money, but the space, but like assets, picks, prospects, and whatnot. And this kind of move absolutely blows my mind because it's quite literally, verbatim, a wasted pick by Seattle. You didn't use the Columbus pick to get anything that would stick within your organization long term. Gavin Bayreuther was a Seattle Kraken property player for like a week and now he's back in Columbus. Like, I mean, good for you, Gavin Bayreuther. He's probably one of the only guys out there to ever do something like this, to get drafted in an expansion team system, only to immediately go back to the team that he went from in free agency with a contract that's, what, two years long. Like, this guy's not spending any time away from Columbus. Oh my goodness. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Bayreuther back to the Blue Jackets. I hope you enjoyed this. And, bye.